The Atari 400 Mini is a half-sized version of the distinctively styled Atari 400, which was originally released in 1979. Back then, the Atari 400 set a new standard of capability and was one of the first gaming PCs. It featured dedicated graphics and sound co-process, upgradable memory, plug-and-play peripherals, and a membrane keyboard. This miniaturized version emulates the entire 8-bit Atari range, spanning from the Atari 400 to the 130XE, as well as the Atari 5200 home console. It's a nostalgic trip back to the golden era of gaming and computing. The package includes a CX stick, a recreation of the classic Atari CX40 joystick. If you're ever in the market for a beige HDMI cable, well now you've got one. Here you can see the size comparison between it and the uh, also recently released Atari 2600 Plus console. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that the 400 Mini actually isn't a little bit larger so that it would fit, um, you know, sitting side by side on your desk with the with the 2600 Plus and, and look more, um, you know, similar in size. If you want to play your own compatible game, you simply load them on a USB flash drive. The system also features HDMI output as well as five USB ports for connecting, additional controllers, USB sticks, and even your own keyboard. You'll find 25 built-in games, including titles like Berserk, Star Raiders 2, Millipede, and Minor 2049er. You can also save your progress at any point in one of the four game save game slots, and there's also the ability to pause and rewind your gameplay. So let's take a look at Lee. Um, the game was originally called Bruce Lee, but I guess there's probably been some licensing issues and it's now just been rebranded as the game called Lee. Um, and this game will take control of Lee or Bruce Lee. Um, and your mission is to navigate through these uh, three levels. Um, you need to collect or like jump on the lanterns, um, which when you've collected them all, um, it'll unlock the next level. Uh, there's two enemies that continuously chase you around in this game. Um, there's a black ninja with a boken stick, and then of course the formidable green yamo. Um, you can kick or punch the uh, ninja twice to uh, defeat him, but uh, they eventually reappear. Um, green yamo takes three hits. Um, they're fairly easy to avoid. You can actually run right through them, um, but you definitely don't want to get them to hit you during their attack animation. Overall, the game's pretty good. Um, it was actually pretty amazing for the time. Uh, you know, there's a few things in here I don't like now. I mean, climbing the ladders is really slow. Um, that's probably my biggest pet peeve. And obviously, I'd like to see a little bit more, uh, a little bit more con better controls and uh, maybe a few more levels.
So let's take a look at Berserk now. Um, it was originally released in 1980 and became a popular arcade game. It was, you know, later ported to various home systems, including obviously the Atari 8-bit series. Uh, in Berserk, you control a humanoid character who navigates through a series of maze-like rooms filled with hostile robots. The goal is to survive and destroy as many of the robots as possible while avoiding the deadly shots. You know, the game was known for its fast-paced action, simple controls, and the iconic synthesized voice that warns you of the Evil Alert. Evil Auto is an indestructible smiley face that relentlessly pursues you as, as if, it t if you take too long to clear out a room. Uh, the Atari 400 mini version is uh, pretty good. Um, it emulates the original gameplay really well. Um, there's lots of different difficulty levels to select. Um, at the beginning there you can see you can just start clicking the button and it just starts to go up from 1 to, to you know, 7, 8, 9. It gets pretty cheap though. Um, the one, one complaint I have about this game is, is that you know, they just randomly place the robots on the screen, uh, and you can die almost instantly if one is too close to you when you initially spawn. Uh, you know, I guess it's, you know, there's only so much of logic they could put into the game's background, but um, cheap is what I would call this game. Uh, it is fun, though, and it is a classic, and, you know, it deserves to be played. So, enjoy
So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe you found some value in it. And uh, as always, um, a like and a subscribe would be great. Thanks and have a good day.